Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. Now today I'd like to take a look at something a little different. Um, this is a civilian ration made by MRE Mounting and it claims to be an emergency ration for the French military. Now it's the first time I've seen one of these. I think it's a 24 hour emergency survival ration so everything is high energy, low weight and compact. So, first time I've seen one of these, let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. So, as you can see, I now have here on the table what I think is a civilian version of an emergency ration designed to be carried by troops. Um, this is made by MRE Mountain. I don't know if you can see, MRE Mountain is a well-known seller of rations and it claims to be an emergency ration for the French. It is a NATO approved and there's symbols there of helicopter crews and pilots. So maybe it's designed as a 24 hour flight crew emergency ejection I'm thinking of, maybe the crash landing emergency, the 24 hour food supply. Whether these are in service, I'm not sure, but obviously it would make a good 24 hour pack to go in an ejection seat. So, what's actually included in this pack from MRE Mountain? It's a simple um, vacuum sealed pack. It says it contains the calories for 24 hours in an emergency situation. So let's just get this slit open and see what we actually have inside. So I think it's meant to be a high energy um, food supply so it's not necessarily nutritious just a high energy food now it's there is a tin of what I can only think of is a stew so this would be a one meal um, I'll do a translate on this it appears to all be in French so I think it's a stew there is some chocolate with caffeine I think this is a German chocolate with caffeine whoops it appears in other rations there is a pack of emergency biscuits so high energy um, compressed energy bars food biscuits looks very interesting there is let's have a look what's in there there is an isotonic drinks powder there is a beyond the beaten track antibacterial wipe so the British some of the British ORPs I've seen many many of those also there is the two coffees, Nescafe and Barista. Again, both of these are in the British ORP rations. We also have Oasis um, water sterilising tablets. There's a nice pack of um, 10. That's a count there. A little bit of delay in the counting. We have a lot of commando bars. Now these are in the French rations and there's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there is a high dependency on the eight commando bars. And if they are all in there, we have a couple of packs of sugar, obviously to go with the coffees. And again, two packs of fast energy gel, um, high energy release gel. So, Looking at this content, very, very high dependency on sugar. But if it is, as this sticker claims, a emergency ration to be used in things like um, planes and helicopter crashes and ejections by MRE Mountain, this would keep you going for 24 hours. And you would need a lot of energy for escape and evasion. So, let's get some of these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. So, as you can see, I have here laid out on the tray the main contents of this MRE Mountain um, ration, emergency ration. Now, I'm not 100% sure, as I said earlier, about the provenance of this. Um, it's made by MRE Mountain, supposedly for the French Army, and it's an emergency escape evacuation type ration from what I can see on the pictures for people like air crew. Now, I'm not 100% sure of that. It does claim to be NATO approved, so this is a bit of an anomaly, but still interesting. So we'll have a look and see what is included in this MRE Mountain 
um, emergency ration. So there is a lot of duplication. It's a 24 hour ration. These are the separate individual components, but as you can see from the pack, there is a pack of water sterilizing tablets and a big duplication of commando bars and the energy gels. There is another coffee and sugar. So basically they duplicate quite a lot for the 24 hour. So these are the main contents for that. So what we'll do, I think we'll start off where we normally like to start. Now a lot of these components I recognise, these coffees and both coffees and from the British ORP, um, French ration, commando bars French ration, German ration, um, this is the German, um, German mains, so I think it's just a combination of many of the NATO forces um, ration packs. Whether that is to get the NATO, NATO approval, I'm not sure, so again, so coffee, sugar, no whitener, we'll bring in a US MRE spoon as always, no spoon, no cutlery, just to give this half a cup. Just to give that half a cup, that was the uh, barista coffee, as I say, seen in the British ORP. The next one is the drinks powder. This is an isotonic drinks powder, makes 500 milliliters, half a liter. So um, mango tea flavor. We just use about three quarters of this because this is a 300, 350 mil glass. So most of this powder, not all of it initially, just to make sure we don't over, over fill it with powder. So, well, all over my table, but that is the bulk of it. We can always add, we can't take away. So again, we'll just bring in the US spoon, good stir, good mix, get those powders well dissolved. We have, moving along, some German chocolates, and I've seen these before in German rations. These actually have a caffeine inside them. Never actually tried them. So it'd be interesting to see what they're like. So there's a nice tin of chocolate there. Wasn't expecting that. There are some nice little briquettes. There are two layers. There's another layer underneath. But it's just nice to see little triangular briquettes there. We'll just put that on top for now. We have a high energy block now this is very interesting shame to open it it's got a best before date of 2040 so about 20 years of shelf life so a nice compressed energy block so this can be eaten as is almost a shame to open it but again there's two blocks I have seen these sort of things before I just used the one for now and we'll bring in an old friend take the cellophane wrapping off the back I've seen these before, you can either eat them straight as they are, or you can crumble them and use them as a, a sort of porridge with a bit of water. But I shall just try them as they are. There is a fast energy gel. I should imagine this is the sort of thing that they give to diabetics for a sudden sugar rush, when they need that sugar rush urgently. So I'll just twist the top off that. So, already it's starting to ooze out of the side of the shell there, cotton, whatever it is, whatever you call it, <laughs> and this, the label, it says um, cheesy noodles in the translation, so a cheese pasta, again a German one, came off with a boiling, I gave this about 10 minutes, 8 minutes, 10 minutes boiling, so, and again, I think I'm going to bring in a bowl, just for the best, best view of what's going on there, Trying to figure out how to do this without it looks like there's a lot of melted cheese there perhaps I should have had this cold beginning to think I should have eaten that cold it looks like it might have been served better as a cold dish a lot of cheese seems to have melted so I'll just get rid of the containers I'm beginning to think I've made a mistake by warming that the cheese has melted I think it would have gone better as just cheese and pasta but We'll see, let's give that a good mix. 400 grams, large, large portion. 
And last but not least, we'll have a look at one of these coffee commando bars, seen many, many times in the French 24 hour rations. So I'll just open one of those. And it's just like a, a little bit of nugget or nougat in looks. So, very interesting components, all reliant on high energy, scape and evasion, nutrition is probably not so important in the first 24 hours of being downed if you're a pilot I should imagine, it's more energy to escape your captors, so there's a coffee, let's have a taste of coffee, slightly bitter, not overly so, decent strength, good all round instant coffee, Nice, flavoursome. Personally, again, that's just a personal thing. I would have liked a little bit of white. Now, for me, that would make a very good instant, um, instant coffee. There, very nice, very tasty. Have a look at the um, tea, energy drink. Hmm, strange flavour. Not exactly what I would call my best flavour. Very difficult to describe. It's You can taste the isotonic mix in there. It has a slimy background texture. Mango, supposedly. Difficult to taste the mango. Personally, I find it quite unpleasant. That's not one of the best cold energy drinks that are out there. So let's have a look at this mains. This is cheesy pasta. So cheesy pasta. I think I might have been better off not warming it. It looks like all that cheese has melted into the pasta. It might have been better as a solid cheese. Mm -hmm. The cheese has gone stringy. The pasta has gone a little bit sickly, all wet, soggy. Certainly made a mistake. Didn't say whether you need to heat it or not on the tin, but I think this certainly would have been better eaten cold. But that said, certainly lots of cheese in there, lots of pasta, gone very soft, very soggy, extremely high energy from fat, cheese fat. You can, you can feel the amount of cheese in there, pasta, even like this, still tasty, just now gone a little bit oily. Certainly again, have no problem finishing that, just on a little bit on the oily side. And I think as it cools, it will start to solidify again and become more, more firm. Now I've got cheese and pasta all over there, so I do have a little selection of forks and spoons. I bring in another MRE spoon, just to try a little bit of this gel to show you. Obviously, it's designed to be taken straight out of the tube. So, hmm. Wow. That's a kick. It's cocktail flavour, supposedly. But there is a strange background taste. Gives you a rush instantly. You can feel it through your lips, through your mouth. I'm sure that's very similar to the gel they give diabetics when they need a sugar fix very, very quickly. Not being a diabetic, that does hit you. The moment you get the mouthful of that, there is a rush straight through your mouth. Strange feeling. Not again something I'd say is pleasant tasting, but you can certainly feel the buzz instantly. Now I'll have me keep moving around. We'll take a look at one of these energy bars. Just cracked open. Oh, quite crumbly. Just compressed wheat flour, a bit of sugar, and uh, palm oil. Mm. Very dry. Very thirst provoking. That bite has taken the moisture out of my mouth. I can see why people generally add it to a bowl, crumble it, add a little bit of water, make it into a porridge. But still, on the move, on the run, energy packed. Very, very compressed. Feeling of a very, very compressed short bread biscuit, short cake. Very nice. Very sweet, very tasty. I might have a coffee. Nice all round coffee. Um, 
have a look at one of these little chocolate bars. I think I've spilt a little bit of the arsenic drink there. Little triangles, dark chocolate. It's supposed to have natural caffeine from the chocolates, it says on the tin. Crisp. High cocoa content. Slightly bitter. Very firm. But it does seem a good quality, high cocoa content chocolate, caffeine, keep you awake, keep you active, keep you on the run. Nice, all round, flavoursome, dark chocolate, melts on your tongue, slight bitterness, that's from the high cocoa content. And finally, we're going to have a look at one of these coffee commando bars. It is what is in the French, 24 hour rations, a sort of nuggety nougat bar quite soft sugar granules you can feel the sugar granules between your teeth the granulated sugar in there you are biting it a small background taste of coffee not overpowering again just a sugar rich energy packed little bar nice delicate flavour of coffee in the background so that is the main content of this 24 hour pack as I've already said many times there's a huge reliance on many repetitions of commando bars energy bar drinks gels powders ultra high energy I could see how that would have the calorific value for a 24 hour period Nutritional, I don't think there's any nutrition in there. It is sugar, energy, fat. Just what you need for 24 hour escape and evasion. Again, nice interesting ration to try. Not sure if it is used within the military, but certainly see how it could be. So I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.